Okay, Dr. Sherry Fong has been in private practice for 25 years in San Francisco and in Daly City. She specializes in testing or treating and resolving chronic complex pain and post-trauma rehabilitation. She personally designed effective and unique holistic programs to reverse metabolic syndrome, whole body detoxification, hormone balancing and anti-aging, and regeneration of collagen for skin. Uh, Dr. Fong's practice specializes in acoustic wave therapy utilizing the Miracle Wave, also known as the shock wave therapy or ESWT in Europe uh, or Canada. Acoustic wave therapy offers the most advanced, cutting edge, highly effective treatment using high energy sound waves to accelerate the healing process by breaking down fibrosis and causing micro fractures, similar to intense exercise to stimulate and regenerate uh, stimulate regeneration and remodeling of connective and bone tissue. Please welcome Dr. Fong. Thank you. I think you just said my whole talk. <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about fibrosis. If any of you have experienced uh, injury in the past where it never completely healed, and when it did heal years later, it still got easily aggravated. Has anyone experienced that? Yeah. So um, the explanation for that is something called fibrosis. And when you have an acute injury, capillary beds leak infl inflammatory hormones into the area in order to try to stabilize the area and lay down fibrin, which becomes scar tissue, which tries to glue the area and adhere the area together so that you don't re-injure it and give it time to remodel so that you um, the area can be strong again. So with fibrosis, it's the number one cause for why people don't recover. So about 70% of the population will go to standard chiropractic acupuncture, uh, physical therapy, or take uh, anti-inflammatories and recover, but 30% of the people don't. And the explanation is that they overheal and they make too much fiber and they adhere the area together uh, that has been injured. And the tissue that heals very weak uh, with these uh, adhesions have compromised microcirculation and cell conductivity. And sound wave and light therapy is effective because I believe it affects the cell wall's integrity. So when you have a cell wall that functions properly, you detox properly, and you have healthy nerve conduction. When you don't have healthy nerve conduction, that's when you see these abnormal um, you know, light images. So in my office, um, I don't have a, a, fa a fancy unit like that, but I use uh, cupping, where I separate the skin from the muscles and the areas of blockage where there's uh, pathological heat will see redness on the skin the way you see it here uh, with your machine. And, and you, the doctors here are right that um, we don't go, I don't go to the area of pain to treat, I go where I see the redness and the blockage. And the problem is like, let's say a person with frozen shoulder People here familiar with frozen shoulder? Um, you go to physical therapy or you'll get injections right at the shoulder joint. But when I do the cupping, we almost always find it in the scapula. The scapula is in the back here and it's adhered to the thoracic spine, the ribs. And it causes the shoulder in front to be restricted. And when you continue to use the shoulder, you know, you tear a rotator's cuff. Even though you didn't have a trauma to it, repetitive movement causes a tearing. And then the shoulder also gets a capsular adhesion and it causes frozen shoulder and a rotator's cuff t um, tearing. So what we do with the Q6 sound wave is it causes micro fractures and micro trauma into um, fragmenting muscles, tendons, ligaments, and bones. So it's equivalent to like micro fractures with exercise. We don't go in there and actually create a fracture. They're called micro fractures. The reason when you exercise, your muscles redefine and remodel is because you cause these little micro fractures that force the body to remodel. The bones uh, get more um, calcium, uh, they're stronger, your muscles get more oxygenation, they get stronger. And when you have more oxygen, you have the supply to meet the demand. And that's why you can increase your weight lifting and you don't get injured as easily as we age and exercise. So with the acoustic wave sound wave, it's a sound wave introduced to the body of the area of um, uh, compromised circulation where there's fibrosis, where there's injury, and it creates these little micro fractures. 
and the body is forced to remodel the area. And so it also causes um, the, s the, the, the adhesions to, to just fragment. And there's nothing else I'm aware of out there that fragments fibrosis because they're calcium deposits, they're like glue, it's like adhesions. So I've used uh, lasers before and I find that they help with pain, they help with uh, circulation. Um, however, as far as rehabilitation for a really old injury, I find that I have to come in with the, um, the acoustic wave to cause these micro fractures because bones and muscles, tendons and ligaments are all dynamic, but you have to create the stress to put it in the position to remodel. So it's not just for pain control, but it actually rehabilitates uh, and it gets rid of the issue in about th uh, three to six sessions. 85% of people feel 85% better in three sessions. It's done every five to seven days and the body's allowed to remodel. And then it's followed up with a laser and light treatment. And most people, so far I haven't found a, uh, I haven't come across a uh, chronic injury uh, that hasn't responded. I mean, I have people that were um, thinking of a woman that was a ice skater, and she's 44 now, and she'd been falling on her butt since she was 15. And at the time she came to see me, she was not able to even bend forward over a sink to wash a dish because she had so much pelvic pain. Well, now she's an advanced Pilates instructor, and she's just out of pain. And what we did was we did about uh, six sessions, and she was out of 85 percent out of pain. Twelve sessions later, she went to do her education to become a Pilates instructor, and we continue to see her once a month because her training was so ex so um, intensive. And now she's an advanced trainer. So I mean that's just one of many examples, but the main thing that this uh, fibrosis uh, to understand what fibrosis is, you know. The body creates fibrosis in an attempt to uh, stabilize a weakened and injured area. But if your body tends to be acidic or hypoxic, meaning you don't have enough um, oxygen in your system, if you tend to have a P uh, acidic pH, then you tend to overscar and your body isn't able to reabsorb, break down the scar tissue and reabsorb it. And especially as we get older, we make less and less digestive enzymes, and the, that's what breaks down the scar tissue. Oxygenation um, a, uh, and digestive enzymes, they all help to break down scar tissue. And as we get older, we, ha we make less oxygen and we, have less, uh, we make less digestive enzymes in our body. And that's why as we get older, we get injured and we don't recover. So in my practice, um, we s treat one area for about 30 minutes, and it's three to six sessions, and you can find yourself going back to exercise, to the gym, to dancing, and all the things that you enjoy doing that makes life worth living. Okay, is there any questions? I'm sorry? Oh, okay, oh, that's right, okay. Well, this is more for practitioners. This is a PowerPoint from the company. Uh, this is what the device looks like. Um, let's see. Oh, this goes to show that the technology was first introduced uh, to break up kidney and uh, lithotrophy is the name. It broke up kidney stones and gallbladder stones and water. And then people's back pain started improving, so they made a unit for um, uh, chiropractors and physical therapists. Okay, what, the, what this unit does, this really oversimplifies it. It talks about it re, um, improving circulation. What it really does to um, get people out of pain is it remodel, it breaks up the fibrosis and allows the soft tissue and the bony tissue to remodel. Okay, it's non-invasive. Um, there's no medication needed to take before or after the treatment, uh, you get a reduction of pain immediately. And the reduction of pain immediately, I believe it has to do with creating space in the cell. So when you have an area with adhesions, everything is just glued together and the cells don't have space. And cells need space, like it needs oxygen and hydration. And it can't have proper microcirculation with proper oxygenation unless it has space. So when you break up adhesions, you immediately get space. This is what the unit looks like. Uh, that's the hand piece that's applied to the area. And it shows how the acoustic wave comes out like a cone. Okay. 
I, I rarely see any hematoma. I see some reddening and just very slight swelling. Um, this is having the acoustic unit applied to an elbow. And this is applied to a shoulder. And this is for plantar fasciitis. Um, plantar fasciitis is resolved in one to three sessions, completely resolved. Um, this is for knee pain. Knees take a little longer, about six to eight sessions. And also um, depends on if the cartilage is still intact. The, the one thing that this device does not treat is uh, if the cartilage is damaged or if the cartilage is just not there anymore. So, so, so as long as you still have cartilage, the area can be treated. Oh, I forgot to mention the exciting thing we also do is that we use it to remodel collagen and muscles in the face and the neck. So there's a lot of treatments outside that help with skin, but nothing strengthens the muscle to do the facelift unless you actually go in there and cut the muscle. So this can help to remodel muscle. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we need to use the mic, please. Um, uh, two questions. One is, have you looked at synergies between the sound technology and the use of, let's say, natokinase or lumbrokinase enzymes for helping uh, digest and break down fibrin? Yeah, I, I use uh, digestive enzymes. A systemic um, or digestive? Just digestive enzymes. Okay. Yeah. And second, um, mm -hmm. in terms of treating knees and other joints, have you seen any synergy or, or have any experience with using? Uh, ozone at the same time with the sound therapy? I, I don't have experience with ozone. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Enlighten me later. Hi, you talked about detoxing. How, what kind of detoxing? And also, senior citizens, when they, they seem to break their bones so easily, how could you help them to heal quicker? Okay, um, if there's already a bone fracture, we don't go in there and cause more microfractures. I just use the laser therapy to help with regeneration. Uh, but as far as maintenance, after my patients are well, especially the ones with osteopenia, they come in once a month with maintenance where we create little micro fractures like ex equivalent to what exercise does to stimulate the bones to grow more bones in order to remodel itself and make it stronger. And as far as detoxification, I don't use this device for detoxification. I use homeopathic medicine to detox uh, the uh, liver, the kidneys, and the bowel system, and the lymphatic system. And we also use an infrared dome where you go inside and it comes up to the neck and we uh, have you just sweat in there for about 30 minutes. And then an LED light is used, red and blue is used over the face. It helps the infrared dome, yeah, the infrared light. I mean, the infrared saunas help. Um, what I like about the dome is your head stays out, so your head doesn't get overheated, so you're not uncomfortable. And then we do the f use red and blue light for the face. Yeah. Yes. Uh, excuse me, would this uh, sort of therapy have any sort of an effect on muscle or tissue that had been <laughs> radiated due to uh, cancer therapy? You know, I haven't had any experience. I feel I think if they're having inflammation, they're definitely um, having a laying down of fiber, and the fiber will become fibrosis. So that causes again the cells to lose space and constrict. See, every trauma and toxicity does three things to the body: the cells, constriction, restriction, and obstruction. And when that happens, everything just contracts and the cells lose space. That's why they can't function properly and they can't have normal functional nerve conduction. And that's where you make pathological heat or it just stops functioning, it's just cold. Does that answer your question? Uh, well, I haven't had experience treating with someone come in, came in for radiation. They come in because they had pain um, due to trauma and injury, okay? Done. So there was something you said that I found really confusing because you were talking about digestive enzymes breaking down uh, the, the, the fibrosis. And so I'm thinking, well, digestive enzymes are in the stomach, so how are they? 
uh, not are breaking there the down, uh, helping with um, reabsorption. Because what the body does is once it breaks down the fibrosis, you ha your body helps to reabsorb it. I just give digestive enzymes a lot in my practice after a treatment. Patients just recover faster, and they're not in so much pain after the treatment. Okay, so it's that also anti-inflammatory. I mainly give it because it's anti-inflammatory. But w what I've read is that digestive enzymes, like children recover, and uh, people over 60 don't as well, because they make much more digestive enzyme, one for anti-inflammatory, <laughs> and two, they're able to break down the scar tissue and reabsorb it, because uh, that's why they don't adhere together like an older person. I can add to that answer, and that is that digestive enzymes are not um, constrained to the stomach and the digestive system. They do pass into circulation, and it's not a lot that passes, but it's enough. And any time you're doing micro tears and, and micro fractures, you're going to have um, protein fragments and other kinds of, you know, breakdown products of your from your tissues that are spreading through your body, and if there are enzymes around to break them down, you get less of an inflammatory effect. Yes, and we also use a uh, animal-based grass-fed uh, beef um, fatty acid, uh, topical, to help with the cellular integrity to the cell wall integrity. Okay, any other quick questions, comments? Okay, we're gonna take a break now. Yes, thank you. Dr. Long. We'll take a quick break and be back here in about uh, 15 minutes, about 10 till or so. <laughs>